Hello, dear colleagues and guests. My name is Igor. Today we will speak about decentralized ventilation and topic of our webinar Social Decentralized Air Handled Units in a Pandemic. As you know, air is a vital factor since a person takes more than 28,000 breaths per day and it hails up to 15 kilograms of air. At the same time, indoor air can be up to six times dirtier than the outside. This means that air in the room needs to be renewed. According to UK guidelines BB101, air exchange rate for each student is up to 29 CMH. And the main aim of ventilation to ensure air exchange in the room to maintain the required parameters of internal air. Social buildings such as schools, kindergartens, other educational institutions, healthcare institutions are critically important for society. Therefore, it's important to create healthy and favorable conditions for those who are in them. The pandemic has raised the issue of functioning of these buildings. Since there is no way to completely isolate people, the World Health Organization has published its recommendation for ventilation in social premises. There are some of them. Ventilation systems that are well maintained and operate should not increase the risk of virus transmission. Buildings that use a ventilation and or climate control system should use the most efficient filter. Consider installing a higher efficiency filter. To ensure the maximum rate of air exchange by means of mechanical ventilation. To reduce wires lifetime, avoid setting climate control systems to low cold temperature below 21 degrees and dry humidity setting below 40%. Most of social facilities are already in use, so not new. They often do not meet actual requirements for energy efficiency and owned by municipal authorities. Their renewal is a political responsibility. There are a few goals. The economic goal is on reducing the cost of maintaining premises and optimizing the budget expenditures. Humanitarian goal, creating comfortable conditions for learning, working and resting, reducing the carbon footprint and fight COVID-19. And now there are already government programs at different levels. Main goal of the programs is to improve the energy efficiency of buildings. And we are ready to participate in these programs with our ventilation solution. Now let's look at two main types of ventilation, centralized and decentralized, with their advantages and disadvantages. In centralized ventilation, we usually see one or few large air handled units located outdoor on the rooftop or the building or indoor in a technical room and a ductwork system to transport the supply and extract air. Decentralized ventilation units are fitted in separate rooms and are controlled individually. Benefits of centralized ventilation Supply of clean air to clean room No drafts and air flows Even distribution of air throughout the room Benefits of decentralized ventilation Significantly less maintenance Does not require ventilation ducts Adjustment of individual, individual microclimate in each room, possibility of phased installation. At the stage of premises renovation, it's not always possible to install centralized ventilation as well as easy to upgrade the existing ventilation system according to recommendation of the WHO. Therefore, the best solution in this case is to use decentralized ventilation. We will consider the use of decentralized ventilation. The principle of operation of decentralized ventilation with recuperation, cold outside air passes through a heat exchanger where it is warmed up by the heat of the extract air and already warm air enters the room. Dirty and warm extract air is removed from the room using a centrifugal fan. When it passes through the heat exchanger, it gives off its heat to the supply air. 
In cold season, it helps to reduce heat loss. In summertime, the supply air temperature is lowered, and that reduces the load on the air conditioner. Let's consider the possibility of organizing ventilation using our civic unit. Series Civic ECLB is developed for floor mounting and Civic ECDB is for suspended mounting. The Civic units are good for single room ventilation at schools, in offices and other public premises as ideal, simple and efficient ventilation solution for existing and renovated buildings. The unit Civic ECLB 1200 for floor mounting with airflow up to 1240 cmh is equipped with EC motors, which allows a tuning, low power consumption and low noise level. The use of polystyrene heat exchanger allows achieving high recuperation efficiency up to 96%. The supply air is cleaned by G4 and F7 filters. The G4 filter is used to clean the extract air. Bactericidal air treatment box will be available soon. It will significantly increase purification of supply air. This option is an important advantage during a pandemic. After all, UV radiation is the most effective method for cleaning air from bacteria, viruses and any other harmful microorganisms. The S21 control in the unit allows the unit to be integrated into the BMS system via the Moodbus protocol using Ethernet, RS, and Wi-Fi interfaces. The device is equipped with bypass for summer ventilation. There is a possibility to control the preheating and reheating of the supply air. Heaters are available as an option. Electrical preheater protects heat exchanger from freezing. To maintain a comfortable microclimate, a wide range of our quality sensor can be used, including dioxide carbon sensor, VOC sensor, humidity sensors. For humid and warm climate, we propose models with enthalpy exchanger for exchange both of the heat and humidity. And now let us consider design of the unit. Let's get acquainted with the floor mount and unit design. Civic ECLB is manufactured in a metal casing with thermal insulation and sound insulation. Mineral wool and formed rubber are used as insulated materials. These materials meet the requirements of VDI 6022. For heat transfer, a combined counterflow polystyrene heat exchanger is used. Two centrifugal fans are used to supply and extract air. EC motors used in the unit provide low energy consumption and high efficiency up to 90%. The supply air is cleaned with G4 and F7 optional panel filters and the extract air is cleaned by G4 filter. The Civic ECLB can be equipped with preheating and reheating heaters. A drain pan is provided to collect moisture that is removed from the pan using a siphon or drain pump. The unit is equipped with a bypass for free cooling ventilation mode in summer. The unit has a wide range of accessories, different outer hoods, three types of control panels, air quality sensors, air filters. An antibacterial air treatment box will soon be available for Civic 1200. To remove condensate, the unit can be equipped with a siphon or a drain pump. For convenience, B models of the units have been prepared. The product line includes three basic models with a capacity from 320 and 1240 cmh. Civic ECLB 300 can be equipped with enthalpy recuperator for humid and warm climate zone. The Civic ECDB 500 is designed for suspended mounting. The airflow of the unit is up to 510 cmh. The use of EC motors 
allows achieving low power consumption and low noise level up to 34 dBA at a distance of 3 meters. This of polystyrene heat exchanger allows achieving high heat exchange efficiency up to 86%. Supply air is cleaned by G4 and FH filters, is available FH carbon filters and H11 HEPA filter. The G4 filter is used to clean the extract air. The S21 control used in the unit allows the unit to be integrated into BMS system via the Modbus protocol using Ethernet, RC and Wi-Fi interface. The device is equipped with bypass for summer ventilation. There is a possibility to control the preheating and reheating of the supply air. Heaters are available as an option. Electrical preheater protects heat exchanger from freezing. The unit has a wide range of accessories, different outer hoods, three types of control panels, air purification filters. To remove condensate, the unit can be equipped with a siphon or a drain pump. For convenience, B models of the unit have been prepared to maintain a comfortable microclimate, a wide range of air quality sensors is available, carbon dioxide sensor, VOC sensor, humidity sensors. We will get acquainted with the design of the unit now. Let's get acquainted with the suspended unit design using the example of Civic ECDB 300. The unit has lower airflow, but particularly the same design. Civic is manufactured in a metal casing with thermal insulation and sound insulation. Formed rubber, EPDM is used as insulation materials. These materials meet the requirements of VDI 6022. For heat transfer, a counterflow polystyrene heat exchanger is used. Two centrifugal fans are used for supply and extract air. EC motors used in the unit provide low energy consumption and high efficiency up to 90%. Supply air is cleaned with G4 and FH panel filters, optionally available FH carbon and uh, H11 HEPA filters. The extract air is cleaned using G4 filter. The Civic ECDB can be equipped with preheating and reheating heaters. A drain pan is provided to collect moisture. Condensate is removed from the drain pan using a siphon or drain pump. The unit is equipped with a bypass for free cooling ventilation mode in summer. The product line includes three basic models with a capacity from 300 to 1000 CMH. Civic uses the S21 control system, which has a wide functionality. The integrated Wi-Fi module allows flexible control using the Blaubert AIHU mobile application. The use of the Modbus protocol allows the unit to be integrated into the BMS via the Ethernet, RC and Wi-Fi interfaces. The electronics allows the use of air quality sensor. The readings from the sensor allows automatically change the operating modes of the unit to ensure an optimal microclimate in the room. Blubber Cloud Server allows you to manage the device remotely as well as carry out service. The use of ventilation devices is regulated by regulatory documents. Since the Civic is designed for the use in social premises, it must meet a number of requirements. The table shows the European regulatory documents according to which the equipment is tested. Simple installation even in premises with finished renovation. First of all, Mark the holes using the mounting template. Drill the holes for mounting and make through holes in the wall for installation of the air ducts. Install the air ducts in the wall. The air ducts must be heat insulated for the wall freezing prevention. 
insert the air duct in the holes with the minimum slope of 3 mm downwards to the outside. Adjust air duct length may be adjusted before or after installation. Install the brackets on the tailing. Connect the spike gut with the air ducts in the wall and fix the unit. There are two methods to fix the unit, by L brackets or by the mounting bracket. There are some examples of how decentralized air handling units are used around the world. First, in Germany, Civic ECLB 300 are used in premise for company employees. In Denmark, Civic ECDB 500 are used in an activity center for the elderly. In South Korea, Civic EC LBE 500 are used in a school library. In Ukraine, in Vishnevi City, Civic EC DBE 300 are used in a kindergarten resink. Thus, today we have presented a solution that allows you to organize energy efficient ventilation in the social spaces. Our solution in practically all your products could be a good opportunity to change the world together. You are welcome to send your inquiries to our joint sales and marketing team. See you all soon again and wish you a great day.